How to use PowerPoint. This video will show you how to use PowerPoint. First, you need to open PowerPoint. If you have a PowerPoint icon on your desktop or taskbar, you can click on the icon to open the program. If you don't see an icon, you can find PowerPoint in the list of programs on your Start menu. In most cases, after you open PowerPoint, you will need to select Blank Presentation to open a new presentation. When your presentation first opens, this is what you will see. The slide in the middle is the slide that you are working on. On your left, you'll see all of the slides that you create, and up here at the top is the toolbar. For this first slide, you want to add the title of your PowerPoint presentation. For this demonstration, I'm just going to type title. When you create a presentation, it's always a good idea to put your name on it. I am going to type name into the subtitle. When your title slide is complete, you need to create another slide. To do this, go to the toolbar and click on New Slide. This slide will look a little bit different than the other one. That's because this slide has more information than just the title of your presentation. When you have your new slide, the first thing you do is give your slide a title. Oftentimes, it's a good idea to put the topic of the slide as the title. For this demonstration, I am going to type topic where the title would be. After you add your title, click in the box below to type information about your topic. Keep the text short and simple. You can press Enter to start a new line which will begin with a bullet point. For this demonstration, I am going to type information, more information, and even more information. When you are ready to start a new slide, go back to the toolbar and click on New Slide, and then do the same thing over again. You add a title to the slide and you put more information in the box below. To make your PowerPoint more interesting, you'll want to add a theme. Go up to the toolbar and click on the Design tab. Now you have a long list of options for your theme. You can click on any of them to see what they'll look like for your presentation. Once you find one that you like, Click back on your PowerPoint presentation to continue to work on it. Another way to make your PowerPoint interesting is to add images. To add a picture to a slide, you can either click on the icons in the middle of the slide, or you can go up to the toolbar and click on the Insert tab, and then click on Pictures to add a picture that you have saved on your computer. When you click on Picture, you find the picture on your computer, click on it, and hit Insert. For this demonstration, I am going to click on the Insert tab. Then, I am going to click on Picture. I am going to search my Pictures folder for the picture I want to use. When I find it, I am going to click on it, and then click Insert. This added the picture to my PowerPoint. After the picture is added to your slide, you can change where it is and its size. If you want to make the picture smaller or larger, click on the corner. Then you can either drag it up to make it larger or drag it down to make it smaller. To move an image to a different location on the slide, Put your mouse over the image, click and drag the image to another spot, then let go of the mouse. Once you are ready to present your PowerPoint, click on the title slide, then go back up to the toolbar and click on the Slideshow tab and select From Beginning. Now you are presenting your PowerPoint. To move forward, 
hit the arrow key on your keyboard and you keep hitting the arrow key or spacebar until you've reached the end of your presentation. To go back to your PowerPoint, hit the Escape key. To save your PowerPoint, click on the File tab and select Save As. Then select the location you want to save your file. Then type the name of your presentation in the box next to the words File Name and click Save. If you are using a school computer, be sure to ask your teacher where to save your file. I am using my own computer, so I am going to save my file on the desktop. I click the File tab and then select Save As. Next, I click This PC and select Desktop. Then, I am going to type the word Title next to the file name and click Save. Now my file is saved to my desktop. Remember to give your PowerPoint a name. It's usually a good idea to use your title so that you know what to look for. Now you should be able to find your PowerPoint to continue working on it by going to your File Explorer and clicking on the location where you saved your file. I saved mine on my desktop, so I will open the File Explorer from my Start menu. When the File Explorer opens, I will select the Desktop folder. I will find my file and click on it to open it and start working. Remember, you need to save your file every time you open it or make changes. If you close a file without saving changes, all of your changes will be lost. These are the basic steps for using PowerPoint. Now it's your turn to try it. Remember, if you have any questions, you can watch this video again or ask your teacher for help.